Hi everyone! Today, I'll be reviewing the top 5 iOS Chromecast apps. I had to dig through every Chromecast app for iPhone available on the App Store. There's a large variety, but most of them lack functionality, cost too much, and are generally not worth it. So I'd like to present my list of top 5 apps for your Chromecast equipped TV. Airbeam is in the 5th spot on my list. Before doing anything, you need to check if the devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Remember, no iOS apps for Chromecast will work if you're not on the same network. Got it? Check that the network is the same. It's extremely important. Once we're done with that, it's time to open our application. Airbeam is in the last place because it has this dumb thing where every brand of hardware has its own app. And they're all full price. Let's start by giving permissions to Airbeam. This window with local network access is absolutely vital. There's also photo casting to broadcast your photos and screen mirroring. Let's start with screen mirroring. I choose the Chromecast and press connect, but nothing happens. The button needs to be pressed again, and then we'll see the paid subscription window. Push try now to keep using it for free. Now I'll press start mirroring, then start broadcast. We'll wait, and finally, the phone screen is mirrored on the TV. As you can see, the delay is significant. On to the next one. I've put Smart TV Cast in the fourth spot, since it's a very cool and versatile free Chromecast app for iPhone. But we'll start with the initial setup, and you have to go through a survey before using the app. Okay, so we'll grant network access, then we'll tell it about the receiving device. There's a strange feature selection screen that doesn't really affect anything. I chose the options. YouTube video, screen sharing, photocast, videocast, webcast. But it won't affect anything. I'm not going to give Smart TV Cast permission to send notifications. Oh, we can finally select our Chromecast. Let's choose it. Look how quickly it worked. Nice. More questions? Okay. Yes, I see the image. Yes, the quality is good. And we're being asked about the subscription, but we can just close this dialog with the X. The free features are already available. You can simply connect your device right here with the screen mirroring button. Start screen mirroring. These little crown icons on the home screen indicate that the feature is locked behind a premium subscription. Receiving device, TV, PS, tablet, or something else. Auto rotation, image quality, sound. Useful stuff, but we can't access it for now. The same window opens as the last application. Start screen mirroring. Smart TV cast has a lower delay than the last app, I think. It's barely noticeable, but it's there. I'll try playing a game, see how well this goes. The quality is pretty low, but keep in mind we're using the free version. Tap to start, next and we're in the game. The image is very blocky and blurry, especially when we move the camera. The delay is significant, it would be hard to play an action game, but possible. So, this is what Smart TV Cast looks like. By the way, if you want to start mirroring, you can do it from the top of the screen. If it's iPhone 14 or newer, tap the dynamic island. Older models will have a red icon in the top left. If we're into the app, we can see that it stopped doing everything. There are also functions to stream videos, photos, and web, but web functionality needs the subscription. Let's give Smart TV Cast photo access and try streaming some photos. Oh, another ad? Let's take a look at my cooking jar, for example. Or Starry Sky. Or this new fancy screensaver. Cool pictures, right? You may have noticed that the app loads photos quickly. The third app from the top is iWeb TV. It's based on an interesting concept, streaming web pages. iWeb TV interests me because it doesn't just present itself as yet another mirroring solution. It's web-specific, useful for presentations or streaming platforms. Okay, permissions granted, let's start it up. A premium pop-up, as per usual. Close with the X in the top right. Okay, let's try the button in the middle of the screen. Popular video. I'll choose the first thing I find. Admittedly, this app could be lower on the list. 
Interesting concept aside, the app didn't work at first try. Huh, nothing's happening. So I don't really see a reason to waste our time with it. On to the next one. The next, second spot belongs to TV Mirror Chromecast. Right off the bat, we are asked to choose the receiver. I selected my Chromecast. And a choice between ads and the pro version. Let's try the former, for now. We watched some ads. A few moments later. And now we can start TV casting, TV mirroring, ask for support, or go pro. Let's try TV mirroring, and check out the delay. I will immediately note, that the quality is much higher than its competitors on positions 4 and 5. What about delays? They're minimal. We're going to launch a game. Will it be playable? It immediately started lagging, and the stream is glitching. But, once again, minimal latency. It's almost like playing in real time. Usually, mirroring is much slower. Well, you get how it works. To stop broadcasting, you can repeat the same actions as last time. Press the dynamic island or the red button. That's it for TV Mirror Chromecast, and you can see why it's in such a high spot. It's a lot more comfortable to use due to its low delay. And finally, we've reached the top of the list replica. An awesome app that I personally like. It has a very distinct name and color scheme. Quite memorable. As always, we get permission requests when we start the app. So let's grant network access, but not notifications, so it doesn't pester me. And there's the premium ad right away, wait a few seconds, then close it with the X. Oh, it's asking for confirmation. Onto the device list. There's our Chromecast. Now we're seeing an explanation and all available functionality. Let's start standard screen mirroring. Ads again. There can never be too many. Ignore the offer again, and we see the same window. Press start broadcasting. All these applications are based on the same technology. Suddenly, there's a permission request for Bluetooth. I don't understand why this would be necessary, but okay. So, time to look at the delay. Notably, Replica has the best functionality in the free version. The quality is just so high. Let's start up the game and see how well it works and if there are any graphical artifacts. Why do I test apps using a game? Because it's the most graphically intensive process there is. Okay, the free version of Replica can't keep up with a game, quality-wise. But the latency is reasonable. That's it. Now you're familiar with the most usable apps I found on the App Store. This was difficult, since there's a whole ton of Chromecast apps. Reward my efforts with a like or a subscription.